I'm going to build a powerful AI backend for your Nextshare website with just a few lines of code with DeFi. The idea is to demonstrate to you how to integrate DeFi, an open source app development platform for large language models, into your Next.js web app. And here is a web app that summarizes the content or text through one click. When you click the button, it will make an API request or post request to DeFi, and DeFi will process all this information for you. And you can see this text about GPT-40, the, the newly released model by OpenAI. Let's walk you through how to build this web app. Let's get started with DeFi. Imagine you want to create an app, and it does some web searches, and you want to crawl information about these links and summarize this content for you with a large language model. Surely you can do it with Python or JavaScript or Java, uh, which, whichever way you like. But with DeFi, it provides you with a graphic interface. And with some drag and drop, you can create an app like that in minutes rather than hours or days if you're not familiar with coding. And with one button, one click, you can deploy your app. And DeFi also provides an API access so you can easily integrate into your own app. It's magical, isn't it? So let's get started. Just click this button and, and you can log in with your GitHub or, or your Google account. Here's the graphical interface. In the explore, there's some templates for you to choose from or, or learn from. And we're mainly using Studio to create app and create app that provide API access. Well, there are two main features of our example web app. The first is you can summarize content with one click. And two is you can send an email here when you click the send email button. But at the moment, you can see um, we're not authorized yet because you know we haven't created the app yet. Well, let's show you. First, let's do the um, the content summarization app. I recommend you to use the workflow. Well, there are other things you can try later on, uh, like chatbots, text generators, and agents. But for API access or for your web app, it's best to use workflows. Um, well, let's call it to summarize stuff. Great. And here you can try to add different nodes and different um, different tools to make your web app more, you know, splendid. But at the moment, we'll stick to the, um, to the basic stuff. Like just create an LM here and create the end. And it's done. That's all, that's all the nodes you need for your web app. It will, and this LM node will summarize the content for you. But before that, we need to we need to define a few stuff. We need to set inputs for your web app. And for our web app, we only need a text input. And set the max length to nothing. So it doesn't restrict the, the input text. And then we need to set the output variable, the text from LM. And we can see here in the checklist, there's some issues with the workflow and prompt is required. So let's add the prompt for our LLM. And with this text area, it's pretty intimidating, at least for me personally, when I use it for first. And, but DeFi has this amazing feature. You can generate a, a generate prompt with AI. So let's say we want to summarize content. Generate. And we will, we will generate a pretty nice prompt for you. At least it will be better than one line saying, ah, uh, please summarize content for me. And, you know, it will provide a much clearer and much detailed instructions. For example, it will tell the LM to read the entire content before you before you summarize them, and you need to identify key points and arguments, conclusion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and lots of stuff. It also provides a ni nice example for them. So let's say apply, confirm, delete this tags for better formatting, and done. Here's the complete summarize stuff workflow. Once you click publish, you can try it out in a in a link. Let's say you want to summarize hello, execute. And with this workflow, you know, you can it run perfectly. It, it generates some text. 
Uh, besides, I also provide some API access here. And here's the documentation you need to send the post request to workflow slash run. Um, we'll later be using this API key in our web app. So just create it here. And later on, we'll copy and pasting it to our web app so you, know, you can use it as an API. And the second thing is we need to create a send email workflow. So then we'll be using resend for our email provider. So we need to send a HTTP request to resend. We can check the documentation of resend for details. Here we need to send a post request to this URL, to this link. Let's say post. And an API key, which you need to configure in the recent. Copy and paste it here. And then you can see that we need to have a content type here in the headers application slash json the json body and again check the documentation we can see we need we need four four keys from to subject and text so let's do it here um, from example at example.com of course, they tell you to replace this with your own emails to example at example.com. The subject is email test, and the text area thank you for testing. And and then we can test it by by this button here. Start wrong. Well, you can see you successfully make an API request to resend, although it has a status code 401 because you know it's missing API key. So we need to modify it here by including API key here. Save. After we got our API key, you can run this again. So here I successfully made a request to api.resend.com. However, the example domain is not verified. So, um, well, we know it's it, it's good enough. If you replace this example.com with your own domain, then it's all good. Um, an output variable status code publish well it's done and great you have configured your build your own AI backend for sending the email and then if you copy and paste this API into our web app into this is API key for email and also the API key for the summarize stuff Copy and paste it here. Save. And then run this web app. Well, it's here. Let's uh, refresh it. Um, and let's put in some app for it to summarize. Let's say this. After you click the Get Summary button, wait to for, for a while for the model to process. Then it will give you a summarize, summarization. Well, here you can see there's a little bug. The content we summarized is completely irrelevant to the stuff we put in. Uh, I guess it's because here in the Summarize Stuff app, we didn't put in the user's input text. You need to add the message, another message, users input, input text, and then publish it. 
If we run it again, you'll see this time um, it is actually summarizing the stuff. So just remember to put in the input text. And if we click send email, you can also see it. It's a successful request because you know the domain is not verified. It's giving a stated code four three. But if you check the log of the send email, you can see the detailed tracings and the the, the result of this API run. It did send the API request to example uh, example.com to and api.resend.com. But how can you achieve this in the web app? So if you look into the code, there's a page.ts text. It has two API requests to API slash email slash send and another API request to summary. So here in this web app, um, it will send all the input values to the slash API slash summary route. And the summary route will post a post request to api.defi.ai. And there's a lot of parameters you can you can play with. For example, the user, the, rep the response mode, the input. And here is where we put the, the text to be summarized. We have to specify the name, input text, and this input text is exactly the same as the the parameter we defined uh, here. This input text has to be the same as the has to be same as this. If it's different, it will throw an arrow saying um, parameter something 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 is required. And here's where you put the DeFi API key. And for the email, still it's the same thing. Um, the only difference is we don't. It doesn't require, say, an input text. So actually, here we can delete this input text, and it still runs fine. You can put the input to empty. And after the API return a response, here the the page.tss will render this response here. And this is all done for our web app, just in a few minutes. Before you need to write complex logics, say you need to define a variable here and call the or the summarization and then you, you also need to def need to use the recent API here and if you throw an arrow it takes you probably half an hour to debug it and also here if you want if you want to request and uh, request to open open AI you need to do all the authorization you need to define your user message you need to define your system message and if you want to use two LM nodes you you also need to handle all the um, variables and and you need to think about how you can pass variable between this LM to other LM. If it's an async function, it will be even more complex. And now it's DeFi. It's just magical. You know, you can you can drag and drop to to add and delete stuff. If you want to add another LM, that's fine. You just do it here, and you can pass the the output of the LM before here, and you can ask it to process this to distill the information even further. And if you change your mind, that's also fine. You can just delete this, delete delete this LM, and reconnect it to the end. It's all nice and simple, and you can even add some complex logics like if else. Say if the output of LM is something, you you pass on to the different logic. If it the LM output adjacent, and then goes on to process it using the code node. It's all possible with DeFi. And the code for this example is on GitHub. You can find the link to the repository in the description below. And please try it out and leave comment. And this is all I want to say about how to build a powerful AI backend in DeFi. 
If it is useful, please leave a comment or like and subscribe below. And I'd like to see you try it out or, or use DeFi in real life. If you have used it, uh, please tell us how, how you how would use DeFi. And we'd love to hear your feedback. And I'll be seeing you next time. Thanks.